Hey folks, here's a quick and dirty video about how to make a vambrace. First things first, once you got your pattern cut out, you're going to use a ball peen hammer with a rounded face on it in addition form, just to give that piece a little bit of volume. You can see here I'm doing it mostly on the back half, kind of where your forearm really bulges out. So, look at your forearm, that's kind of the shape that you're going for. After that, I put it onto a little anvil there, and use a cross peen hammer with a pretty aggressive uh, 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 peen on it, I guess to really start putting into a curve in those places where you didn't get with the dishing. This is a slow process, it takes a long time, and yeah, your arm will probably get tired, but it provides a consistent curve that makes it easier to polish in the end. You're gonna keep on doing that just for a good long time, because what else would you be doing when you make an armor? You're not out of the woods yet, though. After you've applied a little bit of curve with that cross -bean hammer, grab a ball -bean hammer and apply a little bit more curve and volume with the ball -bean hammer from before. Sometimes a little bit of muscling it into shape with a mallet over a mandrel is required, but you can't quite get with those other hammers. And then, of course, you can go back to that cross -bean hammer over the top of the anvil, and this is where I'm applying a little bit of a flare to the wrist part. Historically, a lot of van braces would have a rolled edge over this part of the van brace, but since this is kind of a quick van brace, and the wearer will be wearing a gauntlet over it, I decided just to go with a flare, just to give it a little bit more anatomical shape, and, you know, give it a little bit more shaping to it that makes it stronger. Next, you're going to be moving on to polishing. I started with about an 80 grit, and then worked my way up into a 220 grit. Although I'm quite pleased with how the polish on these turned out, my polishing game still isn't that great, so I'm not going to make comment on this. As a final polishing process for the Vembrace, I used some olive oil and some scotch Brite pads, and then combined the two into each other, that is, doing it like that, and then just rubbing it all over the surface of the Vembrace, just in little circles, this tends to just kind of blend all of those sanding lines together, give it a little bit more of a matte finish, it just looks nice. And anyways, this is what it looks like with the rest of the arms on the customer. I hope that was informative, hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something, I don't know. Thanks for watching.